Hi everybody, it's Kara. I wanted to show you some altered tickets that I have made for a swap over at uh, Craft Happens. This particular swap is hosted by Heather and it doesn't have a particular theme. You're just supposed to make five sets of five tickets and they can be left in a strip like this or be done individually depending on what you want. So I went ahead and joined that. I don't have the Tim Holtz uh, ticket die. I do have the paper tray ink one, but it was a little smaller than I wanted. So I went ahead and watched a tutorial that Heather had posted and made my own tickets. It was pretty basic. Um, you just cut a strip like this that's 10 inches long and 1 inch wide. You score it every two inches, or perforate it, or cut them apart if you want them individual. And then you can use your crocodile or hole punch, whatever you have, and punch these little holes in there so that it resembles a ticket. So when I originally got started, I thought I was going to make just kind of one set and started to have a lot of fun with it. So then I decided I would make two sets, and then I realized that for me, the sets that I had made didn't really, I didn't feel like they kind of coordinated. They didn't have a, like a cohesive theme or anything like that. So my OCD kicked in and I ended up having to make three sets. So that would be three sets of five tickets each. Basically, five sets of five, three times. So that's like 75 tickets that I made. Um, and. I had a lot of fun doing it, but I think I'm good on ticket making for a little while because I ended up making so many. So let me show you the three different sets that I made. I made one that was a floral, and as you can see, I chose to cut mine apart. This one is all distressed, different colors, um, different techniques, and like I said, florals, a couple of them have seam binding. So basically this one is embossed and it's a little bit messier than the others because I use kind of the embossing pen and I didn't really care um, that it didn't stay in the lines. I wanted it to be a little bit more artsy. The back is also embossed. I literally just tapped it on the Versamark ink and did the powder and kind of let it work out however it worked out. And this one and this one are both, the images are stamped and painted with um, Magical Micas from Lindy's Stamp Gang. And this one is watercolored with some Tim Holtz ink. And then I put some um, of the, uh, oh my gosh, the glitter glue on there. Stickles is what I was looking for. Couldn't find the word. And then this one is painted and also you can see that I kind of scratched it up. Hopefully you can see that. I scratched it up and distressed it and then I put a light coat of some glossy accents on that one. Um, and then some of the backs are also done. Some I left relatively plain. These two have little pieces of paper from um, the lady's diary on them. As I said, this one was embossed, and then this one and this one both just had some um, distress ink applied. All of them have the, all of them were made on vintage cream cardstock from Paper Tray Ink. I applied antique linen in the middle of all of them to varying degrees, and then the outside is, oh my goodness, it is walnut. And so that is set number one. Set number two was actually the last set that I made. Um, and I made it, like I said, because I didn't think the groups kind of went together in the beginning. And because I got in some of those really gorgeous, really bright um, dilutions sprays. And so I wanted to make some really kind of funky, very artsy, bright, somewhat abstract tickets. And so there they are. These are all sprayed with various dilution sprays. This one, this one, this one, and this one are all, the images are all um, Tim Holtz stamps. This is a paper tray ink um, stamp. And all of them are embossed with 
um, one or another kind of zig, zig, zing, sorry, um, embossing powder. And they're just the colors on the back because I thought they were so pretty that I just left them the way they were. So this is set number two, as you can see. Just kind of basic and fun. I had a lot of fun um, playing with those. So set number two. And then set number three is kind of a vintage themed set. It's the set that I had done first uh, for the most part. And here's that one. I have this one and this one, this one, and this one, and that one. So these are all obviously pretty different, but kind of have that vintage theme to them. Um, these two are, I believe, a Hampton Art stamp. This one's, these two are paper tray ink. This one in particular, I stamped it on. I used a couple of my new um, gelatos to get kind of that smudged gray with a little bit of black on the edge for this one. And then I covered it again with a thin coat. Basically just put some on my finger and rubbed a thin coat of um, some glossy accents. This one has a little teeny laser cut from Gina Designs on it, dress form, a little teeny bit of lace. And then if you can see this little image right there, that is um, just fussy cut from a little piece of the Ladies Diary 8x8 paper pad. This one right here is embossed, also has some glossy accents on it. Before I did the glossy accents, I used bundled sage distress ink and I spritzed Oh, I cannot remember what the name was, but it has a kind of a little coppery sheen to it. Um, the backs look like this on all of these. They're all a little bit different. This is both Graphic 45 paper. This is just the Distress Ink and Spray. This is actually a thin little piece of tissue paper that I applied. And this one is a stamp that I then, once the stamp was on there and dry, I rubbed on some pan pastel to get kind of that blue color there. And then I just kind of swirled around the glossy accent. I didn't really care when I applied the glossy accent on most of these. If they were a nice even coat, I kind of liked a little bit of the pattern in the glossy accents, give it a little bit more texture. So that is set number three. So I basically have a floral set, kind of an artsy set, and a vintage set. They are all going to be packaged in these little bags. Excuse me, those two like that. And then the artsy one because it's uh, flatter. There's not very much dimension to it in this one. And they each have a little bit of washi tape holding them closed. So these will be in the mail um, here pretty soon to Heather. I had a ton of fun with this altered ticket swap. I think this is something that not only can you have fun making, but they'll add a lot to any project that you have because you could put them on a card, um, on a layout, uh, in a journal, just about anywhere. And I think they're just a ton of fun. So there you go. There's all my um, altered tickets. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And as always, I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you're at. Bye, guys.